Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2018 SHOT Show. I'm here with our old friend Joe Flowers at the Condor booth. Um, I never miss an opportunity to hang out with Joe. Joe, thanks for taking a minute. I know it's, it's crazy here, man. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, but it's awesome to have but, you guys here. It's just it's cool to be surrounded by cool knives and cool people. So Joe's got a couple, a couple of knives to show us this time. One of them I think you're going to – well, I don't want to give it away, but it's – We'll save that one for It's kind of like a – it's going to be a big deal in the knife world, I think. Yeah. And I then hope so. um, hopefully we're going to take a look at one in close detail later. But mm -hmm. so what, what do you got to show us here, Joe? The right, first ahead. one is called the Aatrox. You can see it's about a, a, a 10 inch blade with a combination micarta handle. The name Aatrox means horrible. And we named it after the Crotalus Aatrox, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, <laughs> or Botrox Aatrox, which is the uh, Fertilance. So it's called the Aatrox. It's meant to be a tactical, bushcrafting, bad, bad apple bowie so, um, that's out there. Wow. So it's like a big, dangerous snake, right? Yeah, it is. It's a big, dangerous snake in a sheath. Oh, now, the it. sheath itself is kind of interesting, too. Do you know Julio Diaz? I do not know who Julio um, Diaz is. I believe it's 710 or 713, Julio. I do this all the time. Is it 713 Customs? 710. 710, I was right. 710 Customs, I'm sorry. Julio Diaz, 710 Customs Design, is an excellent sheath designer. And he helped us with the Kydex sheath. You can see the kind of Molly compatible thing that's going on here. Yep, Pretty so interesting. Yeah, we can insert it in the sheet and make it work. Yeah, I don't have a cameraman, so we're doing this trying to get kind of ghetto there. But he 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 is the man with the camera. Yeah, my cameraman is um, had the concert last night, so he kind of slept in this morning. Awesome. But that's so, pretty cool. I like that a whole lot. Yeah, it's, actually, it's modular, um, mega cool. Other M words. <laughs> yeah, mean. mean. Monstrous. Ma majestic. Hey, there you go. It's very majestic. You could use it on a sunset on a tropical beach. Monstrously majestic. But then you come back to America and you want to use an RRR chopper. So we have the Iron Path chopper. It's very choppy, chopping chopper. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> it's also a 10 inch blade, wood handle with the lanyard hole. It kind of, you know, our um, Hudson Bay is very popular and that size is a good size for people to use. So you can see, this is a batoner. This is a multi-use um, knife. And it comes with the high quality leather sheath as well. It's called the Iron Path, because you carve your path in the world with the wheel of iron. So, and what, is this 1075? This is 1075. Our bigger choppers Seven. and stuff are 1075 because we're more happy with this performance and chopping and hard, hard yeah. use as far as like big choppy um, knives go. We're learning 1095 now, and yep. you'll see another knife coming up next that's in 1095 because the smaller knives um, uh, can do more of what 1095 and smaller knives are asking for. For us, the way we're heat treating So it. 1075 the way is typically a little more forgiving, is that involved? Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's more of a basher, you know, I'm gonna do stupid stuff uh, all the time with it. And this so. has got a really pretty sharp spine on it too, so. Yeah, oh, it'll strike the fire steel. We've been working on the spine striking too. Feels really, really balanced. The striking of the spine. But we're talking about fire making, not human cutting upping. <laughs> Joe has spent a couple of hours in the jungle of South America in his life, so maybe that might have affected you. Yeah, yeah, well, it does. All your experiences when you're designing affect you as a designer, no matter yeah. who you are. And mine just happened to be with really cool people in the jungles, yeah. in Central America, in El Salvador, and then in Colombia. And, and you put some of those passions and what you've seen into the knife. And that goes for anybody, not just jungle junkies like, like myself. Um, just anybody getting out in the woods, axe designers, jewelry designers, shoe designers, you name it. Yeah. Um, so, before you introduce this, let me just say something real quick. What do you think that is? That's all we're going to do now. Yeah, so uh, you, I'll leave the comparisons to you, but Joe, just tell us what, what we got going on here. Well, in 2009, I designed a knife called the Pterosaur. Um, what? The Pterosaur. Pterosaur. With an Andy of Fiddleback Forge, Dan of Dogwood Custom Knives, and Off the Map Knives all make this custom version of a Pterosaur. And I really like this knife. I'm going to this knife all the time when I'm out in the bush, and I'm like, how can I make that better and sell it to people without infringing on their custom knives? So we went the polypropylene mount and came out with the 1095 Pterosaur. 
So this pterosaur is a full tang, Scandinavian grind. Comes in three different colors. MSRP forty dollars. MSRP forty dollars with an extended pommel in the back because you know it's full tang. Now the sheath is a fisherman style sheath. And that's the closest that we could get. And um, it's ambidextrous, so it pops out, it pops up, and goes both ways. Very, 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 very solid. We should do this over your foot so you have more confidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the whole package is going to be forty dollars MSRP, so that means it'll even probably be cheaper yeah. on that street price. Um, and we're pretty happy with it. So this is a pterosaur designed by me, um, also coming out in August in black and green and probably in 2019 in orange um we have the spine you can feel the spine is, is sharp enough for striking yeah, I, I felt yes nice sharp spine 1095 so probably with a rock you could make a spark if you had to yeah yeah now when you do that though it does chew up the back but you can do it yeah and this knife is meant to chew up you buy this knife you love it you go hey i want a nicer version you go talk to the custom guys but um this is the pterosaur it took us a long time the polypropylene um, the injection molding for the polypropylene is kind of difficult um, and with the sheath too, it's our first time doing the injection molded sheath. But uh, we saw a niche out there that nobody else was hitting because, man, I was eating ramen in college and couldn't afford expensive knives either. Um, and I think there's a lot of people out there who just want a truck knife that's cool, that's ergonomic, but that won't break the wallet, but that people can use on an ultimate survival trip or just when you're going out backyard uh, whittling a stick. And I just just from initial use, it just feels really, really comfortable in your hand. The, 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 I think you know the blade, the handle shape is good, the blade shape is good. It's a nice classic Puko stylish. Yeah, yeah. You know, in the, in the, Pucos, the Pucos are huge right now. I'm actually looking for my deer jerky because I was going to let them try some, and I think everybody ate it all. So, oh man! You didn't even tease me like that. I know, I know. Hey, is the deer jerky still around? Under? Ah, oh, he's hit it from he's hit it from everywhere. And now, while we're talking about pucos, you can sample on some of my deer meat, hand hand harvested by me. I almost oh, yeah. said the M word. Um, but it's very spicy. Do you like spicy food? I hope so. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna have a big old bowl of this out next uh, next year. A giant bowl, and everybody's gonna come over and and eat it. Is that reindeer? No, I wish. <laughs> Spend no. Um, that's uh, too many deer in my backyard, and we had to to uh, do a little bit of conservation. And um, Luke, you know Luke, my camera, my normal cameraman. Yeah, yeah. He got hit by a deer two nights ago. Oh my God! Dinged up the front corner of the truck. So oh, gosh. they're everywhere. That's they're why I got a bumper on my car. They're infestation. Where you can hit them and then keep on going. <laughs> there you go. What's well, up? Keep on going. I harvest them. I'm gonna stop and eat my. Uh, it is a little spicy. I'm gonna have to find some water. <laughs> But um, let's hope this little sneak peek of some stuff coming up from Condor. Mm -hmm. I will be taking a closer look at this one. I want to get, put that one in the old uh, Survival and Purpose Worldwide Headquarters outdoor testing facility and see how well she does. You can find more about us at CondorTK.com on Instagram. But where can we go to find out about your YouTube channel, the one you're on right now? Survival on Purpose. And that's why so, you want to subscribe. Down yeah, so, here? Is it normally there? No, it's, it's there. I'll put a link to Condor below. You can check out all this cool stuff. Excellent. Thanks, guys, for your time. Even if it's not a Condor knife, use knives, have fun. Also, it would be I'll be remiss if I didn't uh, mention the oh. Bushcraft Global here. I like to give Joe a good plug. So you go to the Amazon Jungle yep. once a year? Yep, once a year for now. We might even be bumping that up because we keep filling up our trips. This year it's already full. Ten people coming down to the jungle, learning how to comfortably survive off the green heaven that is the jungle using their knives and machetes. And what's the ballpark price of that right uh, now? Ballpark price right now is about $2,000, but that includes a $200 tops knife and a $200 tops machete. Cool. So and that's for 12 days. 12 days. All inclusive that's, that's except for deal. the flight. Your chance to go to the jungle. What's up? Yeah, it's, it's life changing. We've had people, I've had six total trips and one person's come four times. They like it that much. So it's life changing and fun because you're on vacation when you're down there. Very cool. So, Joe, thanks, thanks as always. As always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday, Saturday. Lots of random videos throughout the week. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.